There's a need for us to allow people who are determined, who have the interest of people to take over leadership. Absolutely. And that's why we are saying no to APC, no to PDP, Absolutely. no to all this rascal in political authority. Absolutely. There's a need for us to rest, liberate this country. Absolutely. I want to call on Nigerians. Nobody should feel so comfortable in their bedroom. Absolutely. Nobody should feel so comfortable in their houses. About a year after Nigerians woke up to the call on social media by former presidential candidates and activists of Moyele Showare, for a protest across major cities in Nigeria, tagged Revolution Now. Aggrieved Nigerians have yet again taken to major cities across the country to protest against the government of the day. It will be recalled that the call for a protest championed by Shuware led to his arrest and detention by men of the Department of State Services. Nigerians in major cities have again protested what the term the inadequacies and failures of the current government in power and past administrations, a move the federal government described as seeking to attain power by violence and undemocratic means, saying the days of coup and revolutions are over. The law has been set that people can flood the streets to protest against the maladministration of the Nigerian government. And this is pursuant to the fundamental right of the So ladies and gentlemen, whatever it means, we have made a position today. In 2019, many were arrested for partaking in the protest against the current administration of President Muhammad Buhari. Again, the story is not different in 2020, as over 40 have been reportedly arrested in the nation's capital, Abuja. On the part of the protesters, they said there is need for an overhaul of governance architecture in Nigeria to bring the needed progress and development that meets the yearning and aspirations of Nigerians. There is no single sector in the Nigerian social system that is working today. If you look at the educational sector, it's in shambles. If you look at our economy, it's in a total mess. This is because we have people who lack focus, who lack direction, who lack sympathy, who are selfish, who are in position of authority. And that